You know, I heard individuals hating on my Star Wars hoodie. It's like, oh, he wears it for three weeks. First of all, I don't come on here enough for you to know anything about anything about my fucking Star Wars hoodie. But I just heard that shit and I'm like, yeah, this thing smells fucking good. I wash the fuck, I wash my fucking clothes, guys. Like, there's something wrong with reaction channel people's brains. And that's why I'm making the video. I I literally wanted to breathe fire and put my hand through a wall when I heard the bullshit, disgusting, just vomit that was coming from the mouths of Draven and whoever the fuck is degenerate asshole ho co-host is. These people think it's okay to just completely slander and lie about people all day, every day. And then people get like, well, oh, you know, if you were, this is the crazy part. If you respond one time, like they do this all day, every day to you, that you know that you're being slandered all fucking day, every day. And then you make one video saying, you know what? You're a lying sack of shit for saying this stuff because it's all untrue. And then they go, oh, see? You see, that person's bad because we bully them all fucking day. And then they finally came back and said, no, you're lying sacks of shit. And then you're the bad guy. That's what's been done to Shanny for, I, I don't even know. It's like 2011, whatever. That's a long time now. 13 fucking years. But the point of the video is to tell you about this, that this slander, and it's, it's libel too, because it's all in the chat with these sacks of shit, they just, it's like a, it's like a career. It's like, it's like a career. It's like, uh, blah. they've made this like an integral part of what they do in their lives is to act like they know who we are and then take one of our our videos, which is which copyright it's copyright infringement. What they do is not fair use at all. You need still need per per permission from the creator for fair use. Okay, that's just a fact. So th they're violating copyright on top of it. Some of these people sometimes might be entertaining to some people. But the fact is, is that they take people and they make caricatures of them that don't even closely even come close in any way to resembling the real life person. They manipulate and contort and mutate people into monsters for you to watch and either make fun of, point and laugh at, or get extremely angry at. Because these people's behavior is so disgusting. Look at what they do to their children. And then they'll bring, oh, if you got kids, you're done. You're done. If they wanna get you and you have a YouTube channel and you have children, you're screwed. You should, you should delete your channel. Unless you're like FGTV who gets to smack his son in the face every day and, and he gets paid millions of dollars to do it. Like actual child abuse on video. FGTV. My son wanted a shirt. Zachary wanted an FGTV shirt. And I was like, okay, Zach, you know. And he played me a video and it was literally the father just, ah, backhands the kid. And it's like, ah, the kid's screaming in pain. 
this is okay. This is like cool to kids. I mean, it was like child abuse, like actual child abuse on, on the video. And the guy has something like 170 some million subscribers or something like that. It's amazing to me. If you actually hurt people, then well, you can get ahead. Absolutely. But back to the, the subject matter. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a constant demonization campaign. And it's all false outrage. Like, what about the children? And and secretly, they like hate kids. All of these people. Do you get what I'm saying? But they'll but they'll stand there on a pulpit and go, "Oh, I'm I am so friggin' holy," you know. Black Sabbath shirt. Okay, I I am so holy. When they're they have corpses in their closets. Not pure, okay? But 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 people like they just listen to this shit, and then go, oh, that's true. That's true. How do you know? Shanny's a pill popper. Yeah, that's true. How do you know that? Who told you that? Where did you hear that? Have you seen pills uh, in Shanny's hands ever? You believe lies because you you want to believe a lie because it's salacious. It's like, oh, they're like that. That we're not, though. Oh, that's salacious. That's taboo. They're like that. They're the Bonnie and Clyde of YouTube. Do you know how fucking insane that is? that I'm a Blue Lives Matter conservative guy, basically. Not MAGA, not anymore. But I'm like Blue Lives Matter conservative dude that, that happens to smoke weed and is like a hippie type sort of too. Probably don't fit in the conservative thing anymore, but, but I digress, this bullshit. Uh... It's, uh, okay, if you read the book 1984, because this is what they do with both of us, but mainly Shannon. <clears throat> I am just attached to Shannon. So I am the lesser. Be you'll always hear that. We, oh, we know Rev is an absolute sack of shit because of what he did to the kid. You know, that's given. But Shanny just deserves nothing good. I mean, that's incredible, you know? I, I am attacked because I'm attached to her. Before we got together, my, my audience was like all supportive Christian truthers. I had no problem. I didn't get bullied. I had none of that shit. And it helped that I had my own money. If if you may if you make your own beer, yeah, I got your own money, you're fine. Nobody can touch you, nobody can get to you. But you gotta preserve your capital. That's for fucking sure. But if you got money, you're gonna be fine. Huh. Money and no kids. It's like that's the ultimate combo. But yeah, there's in nineteen eighty four, they have what's called the ten minutes hate. And they put a picture of a guy with a big Jewish looking nose on the screen. And his name was like Finkelstein or something like that, a very stereotypical Jewish name. And they would they would just scream at the picture and throw shit at it and uh and 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 treat it like ah oh, you're the enemy. And and it was just a picture of a Jewish man. Okay? And that was Orwell's way of saying this is like they're Nazis, you know, they hate Jews and stuff like this. That was fascist, you know, that was his way of saying that. But it's the same thing that they do with Shannon. They'll, they'll put her picture and my picture up there and it's like, I hate them, hate them, hate them. It's the same thing. And, and the question is, what did Finkelstein ever do? He nothing. He was, they said he was a terrorist, but they, nobody know, knows what he was doing. 
It's just some guy that they said that's the bad guy and hate him. It, Osama bin Laden, definitely the same thing. Okay? That's the bad guy. Shit on his picture. You know? Put his picture in the toilet and have people shit on his face. Like they were doing that with bin Laden. It's the same thing. It, they, they create uh, pariah figures for people to uh, throw hate on. And if you happen to be that unlucky that you were in that position, because there are plenty of people that have been in that position, uh, you're probably decimated. Like your life has been almost destroyed. Uh, ours, because we were at the lowest point we could have been when we had to be staying at G-Man's, and then we go into that hotel, and, and, and uh, what we had left was just lifted by drug dealers from us. Break into my car, take everything out of my of the Cadillac. I had the Cadillac filled with, in the back with stuff of ours. Uh, her makeup, her fucking huge, beautiful pink makeup case, they lifted it. They just took it. Criminal scum. And I'm sorry, I'll never support like crime and criminals and stuff. That's something that they has become like a fad with GTA era of humanity. The, oh, the crime is cool. Like on Hasanabi, Hasanabi's fucking stream, these people are like, oh yeah, crime is cool, man. Yeah, it's not cool. Thieves are scum, okay? That's where I would probably land conservative still because I think that way. Like I'm not pro-crime. I'm not pro drugs. Like I smoke weed and I support weed 100% for pe for for human beings 25 years of age and up. I support weed 100%, but all the rest of it I would wear a dare shirt. And Shanty too, she's the same way. We're like dare kids. <laughs> you know? My mom had a dare bumper sticker on I think the 93 Tracer we had. Before that, the old lady in Scranton that thought she was driving in the country smashed right into my mom. So, like, whoa, <clears throat> pretty bad. And she thought she was out in the country in Scranton and and, and uh, wrecked that Tracer. That was a nice car, 93 Tracer. But the, this that's it. Literally, they think and, and it should be illegal. I, I don't care. I am First Amendment. 100%. Like, I am pro-First Amendment. I am pro-freedom of speech. But when you deliberately and habitually, every day, you make it your mission to personally destroy one person or two people or even a group of people, let's just say that, like harassing a cult of people, like, I'm not for that. Like, if, if, you, want, if you want to have your weird cult, and you're not killing people and you're not sacrificing, you know, animals or some sh crazy shit, then you should be able to do whatever the hell you want, you know, have your cult. But, but, but the fact is the way you brand people, it, it's called poisoning the well. And then, and then you, you go for employment. And if you got a lot of stuff out there on the internet, you're going to be royally screwed. I got lucky and my name doesn't come up with much of anything anymore at all, which I'm very lucky and I'm happy about. Because I, 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 this dog shit, it, it's like the, the amount of stress that's come from all of this crap is insane. And I'm done with that shit. This negativity and, oh, let's get them. Let's get Shani and let's get them. Let's get them. Why? What the fuck? We're literally just two people with mental illness, both of us, trying to live life. And then you come in and you would send a whore in and throw my email in a bunch of dating sites to make it look horrible for me. Like, this is Salah. Probably Salah's going through the same thing I have. He's probably experienced this type of shit. Because French fried fucking weirdos, Ugh, gross.
and and her crew the way the way that they fucking get in people's lives it's the same thing man parasocial insanity with you think you have any authority to tell somebody if they they have to lose weight or not You know, you harass a person that live streams their whole life live stream. But hey, what about your blood sugar? Like, shut the fuck up and leave. If they're not talking about their health and it's a health live stream, <coughs> why are you bringing up the fucking person's blood sugar? It's to piss them off. And it's juvenile and, and it's actually emotionally dam damaging. You're damaging people emotionally for your entertainment. And that's what happened with this woman. I ain't put myself out of this because I, I literally, I really had no fucking attraction, really. I mean, she's not ugly. No, you're never going to get me to say she's ugly because she's not. But... I was not like, oh, I, bleh, you know, no. I mean, that's just the facts. I'm, I was, no, I wasn't like that. Uh, but, 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 but you find out they come from this, the same people. It's always the same fucking people that manage to, to embed themselves in. And then it's like, okay, you're talking to this person and bam, they're going to fucking, they're going to fuck you up, man. And it's so weird. It, it's like they, they will act genuine. They'll act very genuine that yes, you know, uh, I hear all the bullshit that's said about you and I know it's bullshit and, and they, people just hate on you to hate on you because they feel like it, it sounds very genuine what they're saying of how they actually feel about the situation. And then they'll just take the shiv out and, and put it right in your side. You don't know when it's coming. You don't know when it's going to come. But it could be a month later or a year later. And any time in between. Okay? That they could decide. Like Lisa Anderson. It's always the same thing. It's love bomb, then fuck you. It's the same. It's always the same. Here's money. I want to talk to you. Then we start talking to them. They give money and we talk, talk to them. And oh, yeah, yeah, well, I think you're great. And everybody thinks you're great. And actually, these haters are all full of shit and all that stuff. Then a week later, they'll be on fucking drag knots or whoever the motherfuck ever going, oh, look at what Shani and Rev did defrauding an old woman out of her money. Uh, 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 be, she couldn't even pay for her own drugs, which was total bullshit. She was saying that she was doing pretty good at what she was doing. This type of thing. That looks sick and awesome. Oh. That's the deal. As far as I could see, I think it was a setup from the start with this uh, Ashley chick. But 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 for her credit, I'll say that she was pretty straightforward up front. She said, I'm from Draven's Crypt. So I, you know what you're getting right away. Right there. You hear that? You go, okay, I know that you're probably going to try and hurt me in some way. You're going to try and probably make me say things that could get me in trouble with my wife. That immediately was in my head. Just by telling me that. You're up front. Yeah, I'm from Draven's Crypt. Oh, you want to fuck me in the asshole. Oh, okay. I'm from Draven's Crypt. Oh, you want to destroy my life. Hey, what's up? Huh? 
You think I'm ignorant to this shit? Of course I'm not. I'm not an idiot. I know what Draven's channel is. They hate on us all day, every day, especially her. The shit that they say about her should be illegal because it's bullying a mentally ill individual. It's what they do, what Draven does on his channel every day, With if it's about us, is a totally against terms of service and he could get sued for violating and, and, and harming a mentally vulnerable individual because BPD is extremely serious. The, look at the suicide rates of BPD. Hey, that girl with the cute kids, God bless you. Yeah. My God. We got watermelon here, and she's being cute. Yeah, hello. Hi, girl. You say hi to people. Oh, there she is. That's a girl's. Growl. <laughs> we love our watermelon. She's very cute. You heard her. Yeah, hi, watermelon. Everybody say hi, watermelons. She's a good girl, and we love her. But, uh, man... I was just thinking, I oh God, you know, I'm gonna break up with Shannon. We have to, we have to rehome the cats. Yeah, that was so horrible, and I'm sick of that shit. Anything that's gonna jeopardize my fucking marriage, any anything that could even come close to touching that shit, is going to be out of my life. Because happy wife, happy life, and I love Shannon, and I want her happy. But the level of slander that happens to her should be legal. It is not within the First Amendment to mentally and emotionally torture people. You say, well, you don't have to watch the content. But the consequences. We can't avoid the consequences. That's when things become harassment situations. If by no fault of your own, you have an individual that gets obsessed with you and they try and f mess with you in your everyday life, all day, every day, you have a situation where you can have actionable shit on them. To have the cops come and say, nope, you can't be around here. You can't be around this person because you have displayed weird, abusive, really strange behavior. But it really makes me sick. It's disgusting. The, 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 the vile shit that's spewed about Shani. It's really disgusting. For myself, it's whatever. I, I hear that stuff. And I've been so absolutely like lied about that baby carrot stuff. You know, I've been completely lied about and all of this dog shit. And, and I hear things like that now of the type of stuff I hear from Draven and, and, and his co-host. And it goes in one ear and it's right out the other and I don't give a fuck at all. I understand that as a court jester, YouTube person, whatever, the court jester can be humiliated. If I just want to be an entertainer, which is pretty much what I've wanted to be since not doing Bible prophecy stuff anymore is be an entertainer, then yeah, make fun of me. And that's cool. That can be comedy. But what you want to do has very little to do with comedy. Actually, it's extremely dark and the type of stuff that you would find on the dark web. 
your goal is to have somebody self-terminate. That's your goal. You would love that. That would be your ultimate fucking ending for everything. You psychopaths before Shani and I got together were saying that this is going to probably end in a, a double homicide, you know, quadruple homicide uh, suicide. You were putting that on us from the beginning with no understanding of who either one of us are. I'm sorry I'm ignoring the chat. You know, I love you guys. I love you Gucci trolls. I see you there. You always say good things. But I'm just, I'm trying to just get this out because it needs to be said. The amount, the level of outlandish demonization of Shani. It's outlandish. It's, it's absolutely, thank you for the hearts. Whoever, that's probably Gucci trolls. It's outlandish the amount of vitriol and shit that's spewed about her. It really makes me, it, it, it just, it shows me that there's something way more with Shani. That it's like, it's profit type stuff. She's like, she's called shit, you know, legit. The life of a prophet is uh, blessed, but you're ostracized. You're pushed out of everything. You're made to feel like nothing. But that's by design because the world is like that. And, and, and the prophets are touched by God. So it's an insane level of, of, of ir irrational, uh, mostly contrived events but it, it's irrational but it's a collect it's a collective little package of events that they will play over and over and over again that was one time years and years and years ago in some cases we're talking six seven years ago of somebody on some stream going some expletive word usually the n-word that's what the, they'll get you on that See, they said that, they're horrible, and then they'll play it over and over and over again. And you become just that. You become you become the the you know the the BBW white woman that said the N-word. And and that's it. That's branding. That's a Trump Trump talks about branding a lot. He's a brand man. My name and lights. With Asa Hutchinson, he calls him Ada because he 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 needs like he he has maladies. Aid, he needs aid, so he calls him Ada. Branding. He's such a disgusting human being. I don't think there's anybody that's probably lived in history that's as gross as this guy. Probably in Roman Greek times, you'd have to go back then to find something worse than Trump. I think. But uh, the basic point I, I is 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 I made it, and that it's that it's it's inhuman. It makes no sense. Uh, the amount of vitriol and shit that comes at her, at Shani, it it just there there's no explanation for it, other than like profit level persecution. And I think that's probably what it is. She talks to God and she's called shit before it's happened on time. Boom, boom. She has, she has that type of thing going on. But you insert, you insert a person and I don't care if they came in their own volition. Like you, Draven, you said... I don't send people to do things. Do you realize you don't have to say 
that to them for them to feel like they're, they're, that you're telling them to? Because you you so disgustingly slander and 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 put all of this shit on us that we're these horrible people. What do you think their people might do? They're gonna want to act and do bad things to you. You don't have to say go get Shady and Rev. That's not how it works. Just by showing how much you uh, dislike and how horrible we are people could go and it's called stochastic terrorism. It's called sto stochastic terrorism. It's what Trump people do. It's what Trump does. You slander somebody horribly to your audience and then go, I'm not saying get them, but get them. Proud boys, stand back and stand down. You know, it's it's the language. We're not telling you to get these people, but man, look at how horrible they are. You don't have to tell someone to come get somebody when you slander them all day and say they're horrible fucking people that don't deserve food. Basic living needs like bread. R Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, when, when they were spewing that crap about them, that they had hard drive, USB hard drives, and were dumping votes for Biden in the machines. The, 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 do you realize the amount of death threats these girls got, these women, mother and, and daughter? And they got a huge settlement out of it, and they should. It's crazy. But that's the, it's the consequence. It's stochastic terrorism and it will destroy your life. If we were still in the habitat, we'd never ask for money ever. We'd be giving money to people all the time. Because I would have been a multimillionaire with the amount of Apple stock I had. Multimillionaire. If you left us alone in Colorado, no, you had to swat us and got us kicked out of there. And then we ended up in a place that was way too much money destroyed our lives because of you guys yep and I know you get off on that though so it's it's like it's not negative to you to realize oh wow I, I, I ruined four people's lives two children why wow, ruin their lives is it cool <clears throat> yeah you're gonna oh, huh. on judgment day I don't think you're gonna like it I mean was it worth it I want you to remember my words like people like Draven and Dragnot and all of these guys. When you're standing before God on Judgment Day, because I don't give a fuck if you're an atheist, you're going to stand before God and you're going to have to be judged for the things that you've done. And, and if you think it's okay to hurt two little children, adolescent boys, whatever you want to call them, wives, innocent children, that they are at the time. You want to tear their parents' lives apart for your entertainment? God's going to tell you something. You're going to have to pay for it. You might never pay for it here because what lawyer will take dog shit cases like this from YouTube? Not many. Hey, Alina Haba, you know. <laughs> take my YouTube case. Take me and Shani's YouTube case. There's real world consequences to constant slander. Not to mention the emotional damage that's done by it going through it for years. And now you got a shanty that's like, I don't even want to talk to people because everybody hurts me. And that includes me because I do, I fuck up. You know, I ain't perfect and I do fuck up. I have moments of whatever. I fuck up in some way. It's not even me. I'm not perfect with that either. But 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 this is deliberate harm. I don't do it deliberately ever. It's it's my fucking head. 
uh, what they're doing is just delivered harm. We want you to sot, sot. We want you to self-terminate. Because they're dark. They're into it. People that think that, that, that uh, blood sexy and all this stuff, they're, they're like that. They're into it. You know, ain't good. Ain't good for any normal individual. But, but to them, they're into it, man. They like it. You know, knives. She'll like this. Red flags. You're not passing vibe checks. Overly fascinated with blood knives. And weirdness. And you think you can watch me in a couple videos over the years on the internet and know me, that in itself is mentally ill. To think that you could be capable of knowing who I am as an individual by just watching my series of YouTube videos over the years. That just, what, what? No. You want, you want, to, you want to live with me for a year, then you're starting to know who I am and all my little eccentricities and fucking things that will drive you crazy over time, you know, mania and pacing, shit like that. You're going to start, you live with that for a year and, and you can still rock with it after the year, then okay, you're starting to maybe start to understand who I am a little bit. But watching my YouTube videos over years where I could be feeling this one day and here's that video. I could be feeling that way that day and I want to teach this or talk about this in the news or some shit like that. And that's on my mind. How, what does that tell you about who I am as a person? It doesn't tell you jet shit about who I am as a person. But they love to take singular events. They, like, they love to take singular events and lay that at your feet as who you are. Someone says the N-word once in anger. You're a racist. It's crazy. Not necessarily. You see, if there's a pattern of behavior, like you look at David Duke's life, he's clearly a racist. Yeah, and he would probably embrace that, David Duke. I believe in white superiority. Yeah. Uh, it's slander. For lack of any better terms, it's, it's constant, everyday hammering into a group of people's minds. That, that you are demons, that you're demonic, that you're from Satan, and like they don't even believe in Satan, whatever, right? It's just you're bad people, man. And, 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 and society should do something about people like this. That's what, and it's ridiculous. I mean, we're literally just two people trying to live life and, and, and dig ourselves out of a ditch. That's that that was created by this, by all of the stuff I'm talking about in this video. We're in the situation we are because of this. And we're a testimony. Like if you come on the Internet, be very careful and remain as private as you can be. And do not tell people everything about your life. Don't share or don't overshare. I did this on my Revelation News channel. You keep it about the content of what you're doing on your channel. Have a subject matter for your channel and stick to it. Very rarely talk to audience. Minimum. You get a good tip on something, like I was in Bible prophecy. If I got a good idea from somebody and they said, look into this, I look into it. I, yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. That type of thing. That's cool. 
use them for your content to help you make more content, yeah, do that. Personal, don't do it. I mean, Cinnamon Toast Ken, he said, my success is coming from my non-communication. I don't even look at comments anymore. Once you get there, you get to that level where you're a million. He's like five million or something. You don't need no one. You have an automated income stream at that level of sub. Your channel is an income stream. You do a video every week. You get a million views. You got some income for the boom. Next week, another million views. Boom. In the bank. You don't need any audience member anymore. Oh, but people still watch Ken. They love Ken. I kind of miss watching him. He just gets really, ah, uh, with the, it's the same thing. The reaction channel, I feel like sometimes, but the last time that we were watching, me and Shani were watching Ken, I felt like I was watching Dragnaut. Like, very harshly judging people and, and like, we know they're bad. You don't. <laughs> you're, you're seeing a facade. You're taking these programs that are on like MTV, you know, <clears throat> produced reality TV shows. And you're going, ah, oh, that person's definitely bad. Yeah, this weird, creepy stuff like women that are old into young, like really six, like 16 year old boys or whatever. Yeah, that's weird. But we'll make a show out of it, you know. But you're judging people by the scripts that they're going through on the show? It's a fucking TV show. Still, you're judging them as, as humans, you know? That's crazy. But that's what the media, it's, the, it's a combination, this 24-7 this news cycle, dramatized news. That whole era. The Fox News era created this, we have to make entertainment out of reality. It's just to report the news. You don't have to make entertainment out of it. You can just report the news just like it's always been done since Walter fucking Cronkite and before. You, you, you report the news. But, but they've turned in the celebrity culture, like paparazzo shit. That you're chasing down celebrities in the fucking street and they could get hurt. Like, you, they, they could run into you and these people are just like, we got to get that fucking shot. It's monetizing people's lives. You're, they're souls. They're like human beings. And you're treating them like commodities. Like like a an, an item of value that you can exploit by taking a picture of them in some compromising position or, you know, you bully them into mental illness like Britney Spears shaving her head. It's, it, you totally bullied her into, I don't know what the fuck I am, but I know this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow people to fuck with me. So I'm, you know what, if a symbol of my beauty is my hair, I'm going to shave my fucking head. And she did it, you know? And Kanye, he went through a, a mental breakdown and like daily almost, it seems like he's having episodes, you know, it, you'll, you'll get this fucking 30 minute video of him literally not stopping speaking for a half hour. And at the end of it, you're like, what the fuck did he just say? He's attacking all the people that is all these people at his listening party. And he's like, you don't even understand the language I speak. Get the fuck out of here. You don't even know me. And he's like, yeah, I'll just tell you this. It's friggin' Hitler, Jesus, ye, 2024, third party. Nonsense. Insanity. Like, just, just, but, but just spitting it and continuing to speak. And he has these people enabling him because he's so rich. So all these people, like, they're worship, worshiping this guy that's literally in a manic episode. And he can't stop stream of consciousness in a manic episode. 
and, and they they'll laugh at him and just be there and do it because he's rich and they can drink Cristal and yeah. And he can show them pictures of pornography because that was like his favorite thing to do or some shit was like show employees pornography at work. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure that's a violation of some OSHA thing or some shit. I don't know. So the labor, uh, there's got to be, yeah, that's an HR issue for sure. More than that, I think. You're just showing pornography to employees. That's very bizarre behavior. But I say all that to just frame it and, 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 and to put it in front of you that that's what's happening with Shani. She's, you know, the, well, you'll try and say that I'm trying to compare her to Kanye or something. And no, that's not what I'm doing. There's levels of celebrity, of course. What I'm saying is the treatment and the, and the consequences of that treatment are the same, which you're pushing people into mental breakdowns. I don't know what Kanye might struggle with, you know. I know what Chani struggles with, and that's BPD and um, her emotions can be very nuts. In the, and and this is where uh, this is an insensitive word to use. It's uh, fluid, and uh, it, it can be volatile. And, and you don't care, though. And in fact, you laugh at it. And that's why you're going to go to hell. If you find entertainment in the type of stuff that happened like last night, the, this this room and the, the, the numbers just make me want to vomit. Because as soon as we were fighting, it spiked to 57 people in this fucking thing. That, to my spirit is I want to vomit because you are enjoying discord. You are enjoying seeing a married couple fight. In what universe is that normal or okay? Okay, this, there's something wrong there. I mean, okay, well, Rev, what about all the sitcoms that people love and watch and the husband and wife are fighting? People love that shit. It's nothing new. I guess that's probably a good argument. You know, maybe it's always been the case that we like to see a fucking wife and husband beat the fuck out of each other in one way or another, you know, verbally. You have the Karen videos. People love seeing this shit of discord, chaos, of people acting amok. They love this shit. I, it is addictive to watch. That's true. I, I, I'm with you. I'm not above this. I, I'm just saying it's probably fucked up. It's probably very abnormal psychology for, for us as a culture. To be so wrapped up in, in being offended and then going to somebody and, and whatever, taking violence on them, smacking them. You know what I mean? That's like, that's not society. We... It, <laughs> You know, that's not the way you act in society. You don't just go up to them and smack them just because you feel like you were slighted. That's not the way people handle themselves. It's not supposed to be. And it's not appropriate to single people out that you think should be singled out for whatever reason and harass them into mental illness. Or if, and if they're already mentally ill, triggered them to the point where they're they were they're they're wanting to self terminate. These are not okay things, especially if it's for your own fucking entertainment. It's just oh oh, I feel like bullying this person that much. But look, the the Senate are having hearings on all of this type of stuff, and there's going to be laws, and eventually. For the people that are really egregious, they're going to get their comeuppance with this shit. There's no doubt. The really egregious people are going to pay for something. I feel that. 
There's only one that's talking about protecting kids, uh, you know, on those hearings. Man, it's disgusting. Are you kidding? Why are you allowing any children on something like Facebook? I have zero. If I was Zuckerberg running that shit, I would say zero children. You come on Facebook when you're 18. Because I'm telling you, you can find anything on Facebook. There's groups you don't believe, okay? You can find anything there. Zero children. 18 and up, that's it. We need to protect kids from perverts and freaks, okay? We do. Because there's way too many unclean, weird fucking minds out there. And, and, and you see that shit, you know, fucking... Uh, uh, Dateline NBC shit. That stuff. Okay? We gotta protect our kids from that. A hundred percent. But yeah, I wrap it up. I just say, like, Shani just can't do this shit anymore. And I, and I was part of it this time, and I always hate that whenever this happens. We went a long time. We had great times together. Just me and her. No internet shit, and uh, really loving each other, and then and then you, somebody gives money and they come in our life and boom, we had this, we had a blow up. So I apologize for all that shit, and I love my wife so much, and I really do. She really is everything to me, and I just want to be here for her in the time that she needs me to 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 be here, and and I want her to get well. I, I want her to be able to be with her boys and have fun. But I, I know one thing for sure. It doesn't include this shit. Like a happy life is not going to include this. Pretty sure. Unless we're doing very specific things like doing like paranormal investigation videos like Rev and Shanny Paranormal Channel or shit like that. I would love to do shit like that. Uh, you're not going to see it. Like, you're not going to... We're not going to do it. Because it's been so just dramatic. And, and literally ruined our livelihood. <laughs> it, it, it literally ruined our way of life. And... Uh, yeah, it's a heavy toll. It sucks. But, but I said this before, you got to look at yourself in the mirror. If you're one of these channels, you got to say, why am I doing this? I don't think you have to do that because you know consciously every day why you're doing what you do. Uh, and you enjoy it. You enjoy hurting people. So in that case, you don't got to worry about me. You got a way bigger problem with God. <laughs>